Okay, we're here at Tom Kish's place, all right? His beautiful home in the Hollywood Hills. This is off Outpost Drive, one of the most famous and most exclusive areas of the Hollywood Hills, just north of Franklin Avenue. So, uh, you know, he described the experience during the interview. So let's see. Check this out. Hello, come on up. How did he know who it was? <laughs> now you have to be in really good shape to come visit Tom. There are quite a few steps to climb here. You know, th this is one of the homes where the film stars of the 1940s and 50s used to throw those lavish Hollywood parties. Hello. Hello. How are you, Tom? Nice. Good to see you. Hey. Good to see you. Thank you for inviting me to your beautiful home. Never told you today's my birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interesting how that all happened. Yeah, it's great. So this is a recording studio that I turn into so you see clients. Terrific. And it's my skincare line right here. Wow, fantastic, fantastic. Wow. Check it out. Well, now, I'm here on the table and I'm about ready to go under the knife. <laughs> so to speak. This is going to be a great experience. You're going to get to see what I look like without my television makeup. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> I don't really know cool. if that's going to be a good experience or not. That's wonderful. All right. So, you so first we're going to take off your television makeup. Okay. I don't know if I told you, but your hair gets messy, too. With that's this, okay. So. That's like a glorious Swanson hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Exactly. So I'm just going to use the sea cleanser. This is the cleanser we, we talked about, I showed you. So you've had your company for 23 years, is that? Yes, uh-huh. Yep. And where can our audience look for these products? Um, so, so through doctor's offices and high-end salons and uh, mail order mm -hmm. and uh, a website. And your website again is? TomKishSkinCare.com. You know, I was in Fred Siegel's for three years, too, my products. Oh, yeah, I had the number one selling line there with no marketing and no advertising. Oh. That feels terrific. Now, is that the, now, there's a lot of makeup on me there. So. Yeah, it, it removes makeup. It's that sucrose cocaine, it's sugar, it just dissolves it. It'll even take off mascara. Mm. See, there you are, under there. I actually still exist after makeup. <laughs> after makeup. <laughs> there is life after makeup. Um, so what I'm going to do first is do some dermabrasion to open up the skin, Terrific. take off the top layer, and then I'm going to steam you. Excellent. So what the dermabrasion does too is it opens your skin up so that all the solutions I do, and I custom mix, you know, Chinese medicine and stuff like that, it goes into the skin into more. The skin. Yeah. So you're going to feel some tingling and stinging, which is, uh, you know, typical. So um, you'll see the skin now before, and then we'll do an after, and you'll see it a bit dramatically different. Like, uh, you got some clogged pores and stuff here. I mean, I'll get every one of those cleaned out. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, this is going to, this is, once this shows, it's going to have people lining up in front of your house. That's cool. I hope the neighbors don't mind, huh? <laughs> wow. That's a suction. Yeah, this is a microdermabrasion. Now I can feel like it's um, it's scratching the skin. Actually, it's uh, abrading the skin and sucking at the same time. Yep. I can feel a difference already. I can. I feel as though my skin is is actually lighter and tighter. You're so young to have done. You think All so, huh? Yes. 
or is it the skin care? I was very driven, let me tell you. I, I, I was so driven, I graduated a year early from high school. I just had to go one hour a day the last year. I mean, I just was very worried about, you know, what was I going to do with my future. And so I'd go to vocational schools all summer. And Sometimes um, the older makeup artists, you know, find themselves trying to look younger because obviously the business seems to be these days very oriented toward the, uh, the younger group of uh, artists. And then in production, you know, there's so many young people that um, it's a very rare younger person that will recognize that the older artists, you know, also have expertise. I always wanted, you know, we all have our little prejudices or ideas in our brains, but I always wanted older for just about everything, from uh -huh. haircuts to everything, because I figured yeah, they, me too, yeah. I want an experience. If I, if I would have my nose done, I would want somebody that's done one million surgeries or something, you know, not the new young guy. Exactly. I agree. And to, to become a new client, does one simply contact you through the, your website? Yeah, I have a 1-800 number, too. Excellent. And what is that number? It's a 1-800-922-1331. 1-800-922-1331. Yep. Aha, my little elephant nose hairs. Finally. They're gone. Yeah, people always want me to analyze their skin. I do everything differently my own way, but they always want you to, you to analyze their skin first. And I don't really do that, because I say I'm going to know more in two hours than I will know now. Well, what would you say my, would you, would you classify my skin as being oily, do you think? Or it's hard to tell, isn't it, because I've had all that makeup on and you had to remove all that makeup. Thing. Well, you used to be oily, but you're not anymore. Yeah, yeah, I was very oily. But not anymore. No. Uh -huh. The, uh, as you can tell by the acne scars, I had very severe acne when I was very young and uh, went through, ju just went through hell with dermatologists. They actually used to take, um, they used to take acetone and they, they would dip, they would wrap dry ice into, uh, or wrap dry ice uh, uh, into cheesecloth. Mm -hmm. Actually, they'd wrap cheesecloth around the dry ice, is what I'm saying. And then they would dip it into acetone and rub it across my face to abrade the upper layers and to dry the skin out. It was just a horrendous experience. Painful, huh? Very. And did it work? It did. It did. It was a... I thought I knew everything. I didn't... Temporary uh, fix. And uh, it, it, yeah, it was... You actually... They actually took cheesecloth, wrapped it around dry ice, and then they would dip the whole thing in into acetone, and then uh, just rub it over the surface of the skin. Wow. Now what I use now is just a little bit of baking soda and water, which is, it changes your, your skin's naturally slightly acid, so I want to take and change it to alkaline, and so it gets loose and uh, uh, op it will open the pores more. Hmm. So we'll just let that steam and get really loosened that up and then just extract terrific. them out. You know, it really feels terrific. And it's raising, it raises the body temperature too when you breathe it in like this. Mm-hmm. Mm, it helps to dilate all of the pores. Now, did you, I know you do the makeup, of course, as you're famous for that. Did you ever, did you ever do skincare? Or? I did, and not to this extent. I did, you know, facials and massage treatments and treatments. Uh, I mean, when you, you know, when you, when in your line, did you do like makeup, oh, no, re makeup no, removers or anything? Well, we do in Europe. I have a, a, a fabulous uh, skincare line in Europe. But um, the European ingredients that we're able to get away with are unable to be sold in the United States. Mm -hmm. And because uh, they work, <laughs> yeah. like your products. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I'm not really known for skincare and uh, except for, uh, for the skincare products that we have made in France for for sale throughout Europe, but uh, well, I'm mainly known for my uh, my makeup products, for my color line, and and the, and the skincare line is it's it's quite nice. I'll, I'll show it to you, and uh, but it's uh, nowhere near as extensive as yours. I actually went to sell my company once, 
years ago, and I I love what I do so much. And my whole, really, really, my my joy of the day is is doing this. This is very uh, paternal, very like to take care of somebody. You know, yes, if, yes. if there's this some um, energy that's that's that you we exchange that I really yeah. like. Now, do you do like? Body work also. I designed it, and I did it at the uh, doctor's office it's called the Center for Health and Well-Being in San Diego. I used to do full body facials, so everything I do to the face, I would do to the whole body meticulously. Yeah. And uh, I don't have the facility to do that here, but uh, it was I really really rewarding. It take me two hours to set up and four hours to do it. Yeah. I could do one in a day, but I charge a thousand dollars for it, so it's like you know. Yeah, absolutely, I can see why. You know, we're we're like. A, four, a quarter of the way or a third of the way into the process, I'm sure. And already, I recommend this. This is an amazing experience. You know, it, we're in a service business, makeup, skin care. But it's, it's, it goes beyond just service. You know, it, it's personal. Yeah, it's like... A, um People will say to me, oh, you know, my clients will say, oh, you're a genius. Or I say, no, I'm not a genius. I've been tested, you know, I won't take that title. But, you know, I'm passionate. And that, that's enough to be passionate is, um, it will, I think, will take you right to the top. Because you, to really care about what you're doing, you know. I used to have facialists that worked for me and I'd go by the stores and they'd be out having a salad while the client's in the face room. I'm, I, you'll see I won't have time to go out and have a salad while I'm doing your face. <laughs> And, uh, oh, God forbid, a cigarette. Man. I'm like, I'm, I'm busy working the whole time. That's, the, you know, passion is the key. Love, love for what you do. Mm -hmm. you know, really caring about the person. Constantly be, being inspired, re-inspired. You know, that's how most of the greatest artists in makeup and hairstyling are. You know, I mean, they're challenging themselves constantly on a day-to-day -day basis because they love what they do and they, and they want more. They want to experience more. That's how I invent stuff, just by trying, trying really hard to, you know, do, do a good job. And I invent a lot right in this room right here. Mm -hmm. How soon after a treatment like this can you go on camera? Right away. Right away. Yeah. I take it to what I call the wall of invasive. So if it were going to be invasive, I would discuss it with the person first. And then, But I usually don't do that because you can get to the same place. There's ten ways to get to the same place, you know, so you can get there without, you know, any downtime. Now, is that, are those hairs you're pulling down? Yeah, you know, if you pull the hair, if you have a little... Um, old injury, uh, uh, po uh, a mark, All you know, right. from acne, and you have a hair in the middle of it, and you pull the hair in the root follicle and everything out, it shrinks up that, that, uh, makes it smoother. That makes sense. I hope all you MUA TV viewers appreciate this. <laughs> and are learning something. I learned something watching your show this morning. It was great, yeah. What, what were you watching? Where you were doing to, to fill in the, the mustache and the eyebrows oh, with oh, the, the pencils. The old-fashioned technique of yeah, gluing I thought that was... the eyebrow pencils together and shading them down. Yeah, that. I was glued to that. I was fascinated. I, I love to learn new ways to do stuff, you know. And it, it, whether it's the old way or not, in a pinch, you, you, always, right. you need to know ten ways to get there. Yeah. You know what I love, I love doing? I love inventing. I love creating new ways of doing things and creating new tools, you know, walking through a hardware store, through a supermarket, you know, and, and finding things that I can adapt or use for makeup techniques. Yeah, it, uh, cr that's what I believe we're here to do, is create. Mm -hmm. So now this next part is I do, uh, I take some aloe vera gel, and then I'll custom mix it for each client, depending on what I want to do with their skin. Um, these different vials of uh, extracts and stuff. So we're going to do some wild chamomile and you. This is mountain grown. See, you are a mad doctor. Look at that. I love it. That's great. You're a doctor. I wanted to be a mad doctor. You wouldn't. <laughs> a mad Actually. doctor. I'm trying to picture that. <laughs> Actually, you just, you, I, I could still be a mad doctor today. You just have to ruffle up my hair a bit. Put me in a white coat. You know, I actually started 
wanting to be a doctor because I had uh, a lot of medical problems when I was young with my spine and I was always in the hospital. I saw these doctors in white coats all the time. I thought, wow, these guys really, you know, they're, some, they're, they're to be admired. And, uh, and then I saw a, a picture of Jack Pierce, the makeup artist that did Boris Karloff's makeup for the Frankenstein monster. And he was wearing the same kind of white coat. And I thought, wow, he's like a doctor. And he, it looks like he's having a hell of a lot more fun. So I think I'll be a makeup artist instead of a doctor. Doctors are really, in our culture here in the West, are really, you know, this, if the doctor says it, then that's it. Mm -hmm. That's how they ended up um, really getting more into the skincare business, too, because they have the confidence of the population. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would go in and teach a lot of doctors and nurses, because what skincare is is preventative medicine. And um, unless you're uh, a natural doctor doing preventative medicine, which is, you know, Chinese medicine and mm -hmm. naturopathy and things like that, um, they don't have a lot of training on skin care. No, they don't. But it, so it's interesting that they seem to have moved in in such a big way to the business. Yeah, or nutrition, I've found. Yeah. You, you know, the, generally, unless, unless they are nutritionists who study it specifically. So now water is your conductor, and so we're doing ultrasound on your face, and this just stimulates the collagen production and tones the skin, kills bacteria. I can and, feel uh, that it tingles. Yeah, the, the, the more water-based molecule you use, even like these um, um, ultrasonic gels that you can buy, I don't like them. They're, 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 they're not as, as, as much as just taking the aloe and the extracts and making your own. The, the molecule's smaller and you get a better result. So exactly what, now what, the, what is this doing? What, what, what's happening? Well, it's very dramatic. You know, I teach uh, estheticians too. So this is one of the ones that really just, you know, you do it for 15 minutes and uh, it's very dramatic. The, 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 the elasticity and tone of the skin and, and the pores. I feel, it. I feel it tightening. And it's a different frequency than you use on your body because the one in your body would, would, you know, be too strong in your face and fry mm -hmm. your brain or something. Please, not any more than it already is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I tore my rotator cuff on my left shoulder. And it's been seven months. It's still, I'm still having problems with it. I probably should have ultrasound treatment. It, you, it's, and they have to do it for the full procedure, so you have to make sure that they do it for the whole 15 minutes, because it's thermal. It creates heat inside, deep into the joint. Now that, well, honestly, it felt as though it was magnetic. It felt as though it was pulling on my skin. That will hurt your eyes. Now, massaging the face, you think about it, no, you hardly ever get that done. It's very, very healthy. You have more lymph glands in your head and face than anywhere in your body. Mm. And so just a really deep massage drains that lymphatic system. That's all a lot things. of pressure. It's pressure. You're putting yeah. a lot of, but it's, it's, you, don't, you don't lose contact. You're, you have constant pressure, yeah, but it's, it's equal. It's very good. And uh, you, you do draining of the lymphatic system. Yeah, just the... Uh, now what does that do? By draining the lymph nodes, what does that do to improve the skin? It, it boosts your immune system, so that's what collects all the bad stuff. I and see. It, uh, some people will even, like, you can feel it go down your throat and things like that. You're not too congested at all, really. I could. Is that just your fingers? Yeah. That is amazing. Now, what is that doing? Cleaning out the, and stimulating all the skin and bringing the vitamins up to the surface. Oh, yeah, let's see. It also exfoliates, just massaging. I can really get used to this. Did, did anybody tell you you remind, remind them of anybody else on TV? Well, some people have said I look like and act like. Um, I want to see if it's the same Kurt thing. Douglas's uh, son, uh, Michael. Michael, yes, my, Michael and I used to eat peanut butter sandwiches on the stairs, the front stairs of the producers' building at Sunset Gower Studios when I first opened my my uh, makeup school. Do you remember that, Michael? 
And, uh, others say that I look like uh, Anthony Hopkins from no, no. from Silence of the Lambs. Others, Boris Karloff. Some say Larry King. So I don't know. I don't know. I, just I, your, I'll say it like this. I guess your presence is a little bit, just a little bit like Regis. Oh, like, like Regis Philbin. Yeah, just really like you're just oh, so comfortable. You're so comfortable and you come across like so... Um, like you're sitting in front of you, talking to you, you know. Oh, no, no. Oh, you know what? I love Regis. Regis is one of my favorite people. You know, I worked with Regis for years. Now we're just going to do a sulfur treatment. In sulfur, if you get in a high concentration of sulfur, it's, it's like that's what's in the Dead Sea and in Baden-Baden and all the healing waters around the world that, that uh, heal variations of all kinds of different uh, skin conditions. This will sting a little bit. But. This is when we were talking about regulations earlier. This is a registered OTC because it's uh, just the amount of sulfur that's in it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I can smell the uh, sulfur and I can feel it. It does sting. It's interesting. I, you know, my, I, my, my teachers, the teachers that I hire, I train them personally. I find that the best teachers in, at my schools are those who went through my original classes and who have studied my techniques, who have studied me, not only my techniques, but, but how I teach. Mm -hmm. I that's important. I used to have all of my teaching on videotape, and they would watch me not only to learn my techniques on the videotape, but also to learn how I taught. And uh, so now I, I have sessions with my teachers personally. I've just started this year. As a matter of fact, like four months ago, we began to uh, advance all of the techniques in the schools. All the hands-on training now has been advanced. And we're taking all the training that we used to have at the schools and we're putting it on MUA TV. That's for fabulous. You. I feel this really tightening up. Yeah, it's going to get really Should tight. I not be talking? Well, no, it's okay. Is it okay? It's it's a we're doing we're not doing it to, to tighten. We're really right. doing it to dissolve and to purify the skin. This is amazing. The the feeling is just amazing. It's very different, huh? It is. This feels remarkable. I feel like I've had a facelift. I know, you know, I have an appointment. To have. I would love you to use the products that I love for you today. I'd like you to, you know, uh, I will most uh, experience them. And uh, you'll, you, it's not one of these things where, you know, you hear sometimes that people say, oh, use this and you'll see the difference in so many months. You'll see the difference right away from the, the there'll be, di your skin will be different right away. Right in the, in the first day, you'll notice that it's different. Oh, it's different now. This is amazing how quickly this has worked. I, I, I feel very different. My skin feels tight. You know? That's what we you know in Fred Siegel's. I didn't go knock on their door. They came here, and I'd never been in department stores. And the, the the buyer here, he came in for his facial, and I charged him for his facial and charged him for his price. And I didn't talk during the whole facial because I don't always talk, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, I walked him to the door, and he just gave me this very frustrated look. And he goes, "Don't you want me to carry your line like that?" And I go, "Well, why don't you why don't you why don't you use them, try them, and see if you like them." Like that, and then my products were in his store in like three weeks. Mm -hmm. And so it was like, you know, I wasn't really thinking of trying to s was, sell the product. Yeah, he was expecting you to sell it verbally. Yeah. And I really, I wasn't even thinking to go, that he was here for that. I thought he was really here for his face. Mm -hmm. That sold him. Seems a shame to have to put makeup on it after you do this. It doesn't. It just. I won't have to use as much. I don't think. No, and uh, it'll be. It doesn't. They're just two totally different things. The mm -hmm. makeup and the skincare. So your skin will actually, when you leave here, will have medicine in the skin, mm -hmm. inside the skin. And it'll, instead of like some people, they go get a facial and their skin breaks out afterwards or whatever. Mm -hmm. You won't break out. In fact, it gets better each day for the next few days. It'll, it'll look amazing today and then it'll get better each day, the next couple of days. I can feel that happening. Do you see a difference? I feel a difference, let me tell you. I really, really feel a difference. I feel like my face is being just pulled, you know, it feels tight.
Feels great. So now we're gonna do a vitamin C treatment. You'll feel, feel some little bit of stinging. Now this is pushing the vitamin C into the skin. Yeah, and you know, oxygen, you see it all, all over now from, you know, they use it in everything to, to boost things, to yes. make it more active. So um, you, you can do that with this. You can put some hydrogen peroxide right in this uh, mixture here. Oh, I see. And, you, and then an oxygen generator. So that's what an oxygen facial is, with, you, with the hydrogen peroxide? No, they don't do that. I, I, I do that. That's oh. something I invented in here. Oh, I've see. never seen anybody. The, with the oxygen facial, it's a different... I, I, use, I take that and I do something different with it. So uh -huh. I take the oxygen generator and then I uh, do, use it to boost all different kinds of applications. I see, I see. Now, is that air? Yeah, this is oxygen and then some water. And then you could just press the button a little certain different way and just get pure oxygen. Then. So you have an oxygen tank attached to this? Yeah, this is the same one they use in intensive care. It has a, a five canisters in it. It makes its own and rotates on a wheel. It's really cool. Wow, it's very cool. Now your skin takes in oxygen and gives off carbon. So it, it, it really does, the oxygen really does go in the skin. Oh, interesting. I can feel it. Is that like an airbrush? Is that an airbrush? Or what is that? Yeah, and, uh, nebul this is a nebulizer. This is what this is called. Oh, I see. So um, these are actually, you know, the, the airbrush for makeup, I think, must have came from that originally. Yeah. So this these came before... It, yeah, for the, for the makeup, the makeup yeah. And they're called nebulizer, where you'd actually put medicine in there, and, oh, and uh, oh, interesting. And they have a different ones you put in your nose, and you can make take medicine and put in that nebulizer, and then push that vapor up in your nose and get medicine in there like that. Okay. I, I have all that stuff just because I love it. I love to, you know, order all that stuff from the medical supplies and you know use it on myself. It, hence the you say the, what the mad scientist or something. Yes. I'm always treating myself. I can get rid of infection, you know, on the in your face, infection, acne, right. pustules. Clean them out and, and get rid of the infection in one time, too. And it's a procedure that I, that I invented right in this room here. You know, this is changing my opinion of skincare completely. This experience, you know, the inner, you know, because. As I said during the interview, you know, I, I, I came from a very strict makeup background, you know, and the only thing we would do would be, you know, throw a moisturizer on, you know, and put the makeup over it. And we were taught that the skin was a barrier that it doesn't absorb. Oh, all this is going but, right in your skin. Oh, I am telling you. Do you see how much smoother his skin is? It really is. is. Yeah. This is the real thing. Now I'm going to tell you right now, my distributors are going to be watching MUA TV and they're going to be seeing this. They're going to be seeing your passion and the effectiveness, effectiveness of your treatment and, and the products used in those treatments. Do you know what I did? This they're is going to a call good idea. On their own. I'm not even going to have to introduce you to them. <laughs> This is a good idea, for, I think, even even with you. Uh, um, uh, I set up a skincare booth at LA Fashion Week for Alicia Lahan's Mercedes-Benz Fashion Show one year. Mm -hmm. And I did a skincare on the people before they went to all these famous makeup artists, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the critics that were out in the first few rows said, that's how makeup, they didn't know I was there either. But th this is what they, they, they quoted and said, this is how foundations are supposed to look, that's how makeup's supposed to look. And they were like so impressed with the show. And the only thing that was different about that one show I did and the other shows that week was I, I set up a skincare booth. Booth and would do this, do their skin, right. not like just mini, like 10, 15 minutes right. in the booth, and send them off to the makeup artist. And the makeup artist loved it too, and the models loved right. it. Right. So it was really great exposure. Wow. With this kind of skin care, skin therapy, you know, you could do a, a very, very exquisite makeup with very little makeup because the skin becomes a much better canvas. Now there's one last treatment I do. I do this at the end of every facial, and this is uh, it's done in Monaco at Princess Grace's spot. It was her favorite facial, and it's the hot wax mask. And, oh. I, and I don't use the 
the wax, I use a sterile wax with the uh, eucalyptus. Paraffin. Yeah, okay. it's different than the ones that they use in the salon for the hands and feet. Yes, you know, yeah. you don't want to use that one on your face. Yeah. But um, so that would do that, and then it's uh, <clears throat> for this. You have to cover your eyes, though. Okay. And uh, and this just what this does is it creates a vacuum seal over your. Uh, um, face and as the wax cool it, it, then you get persp perspiration underneath it mm -hmm. and as it cools your pores they're open because they're hot drink in that that evaporation the the water the moisture and the, all, everything that I did goes deeper into the skin all the vitamins all, all the treatments that I did the vitamin C everything goes deeper in the skin Amazing. you know Tom we have to talk about the possibility of your becoming more affiliated with my training programs oh that would be great because, uh, I would like very much to be able to include you as one of our instructors so that our students have a really in-depth understanding of skin care, skin therapy, the way you do it. I love how this, this mask is great, you're going to love it. This just finishes off the whole thing. Now this is going to feel hot to you for a second, but it's measured, it's not too hot. Um, so don't worry. It's just, uh, your skin's very sensitive right now too, it's like baby skin. Mm -hmm. what, what, what exactly again is this doing? This creates a vacuum seal on your skin. and. Uh, the, those your pores open up and perspire underneath. It makes w a little water mixed with all the vitamins and everything that I just did. And then as it cools, it drinks it back down into your skin. Mm. So it seals everything deep in the skin, makes it go deeper. It, again, it feels remarkable. And you know, knowledge is infinite. I know you know this. You, yeah. you're, you, you, when you stop learning, you die. I, mean, right. I study all the time. The last science I studied was Ayurvedic and because uh, I didn't know a lot about that and I'm going to incorporate that into some new products that I do. I always think of Evita Perone with this one because they preserved her in wax, you know. Knowledge mm -hmm. is life. Uh, I heard somewhere, knowledge is the gift that we get from God to create. Mm -hmm. Your word. It says your word. That's what the card said. Your word is the gift you get from God to create. Mm. So this is the last step. Then I do the, uh, you know, put your uh, seal this with some moisturizer afterwards and some uh, that caviar that you, which I showed you this one. Mm -hmm. This looks like a character makeup itself. <laughs> 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 Does it look like one of those mannequins in his school? Maybe I can have a mannequin in your school like this. <laughs> like this. You look like a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Just make me, me laugh. Like the mummy. He looks like the mummy. <laughs> <laughs> it is the coolest looking mask, isn't it? Can I touch it? Yeah. How often would you recommend treatments like this? Uh, once a month. Unless they have what I call an episode, then you don't have to wait for your month, you know, to end. Because <laughs> if you get a, a, an infection, a breakout or something, I can take care of it immediately. It'll be the end of the story. So why, <laughs> wait, why wait around for it to fester and right. that sort of thing? Greg, this is not silicone. <laughs> <laughs> Then we use a Hungarian water. Just gonna further close that all out. I'm going to have a Hungarian accent. Jadaida chocolate make day. That's all I know in Hungarian. It means come here and kiss me. <laughs> Hello again. I'm back with you. You're watching MUATV.com. I'm not going to smile. I don't want to ruin my face right now. I can't wait to see myself in the mirror. Ooh, what is that? This is the caviar, and then I just put some... Uh... Ooh, that has an interesting smell. 
an aroma. Oh, it has kind of like a, a fish oil aroma. But in a good way. <laughs> I'm going to show you something I make for clients. Uh, it's a big vitamin box. You know, the one you have your nuts and bolts in. And I, lay, oh, yeah. and I make them custom for that person, yeah. what they need. And they can take it on the movie set or try with it. And, you know, if you have like 20 bottles in your cupboard, chances are you won't really open them all. Right, right, right. But if it's in this box, you just flip it open and they're all right there. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. So, yeah, this would be great for makeup artists and hairstylists. You know, on the I, I started and had one for myself, and uh, and then you know it started like that. You know, mm -hmm. just being practical. There you go, Mister. You're all done. Ah, it feels sensational. Look at the the lines on my forehead. I'm so tight. It's so smooth. This is amazing. Cool. Really. Yeah. This is amazing. Check it out. Come over here in the light. Oh, yeah. Look how smooth. Well, I can't wait to uh, to really see myself on camera now. Yeah. You know, with 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 yeah. makeup. When you put I'm your makeup, yeah, I'm not going to need as much makeup. Just right. enough to color my skin. Absolutely. You know, that's really terrific. So oh, good. You'll be thinking of me every morning. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Don't go away. We're going to be right back with more makeup and hairstyling and skin care right after this. That was absolutely remarkable. I, I, I've never had this kind of a, a result from any facial that I've ever had in my life. I feel tight and I understand now exactly what he means when he says that it's infusion. The ingredients are, he has forced the ingredients into my skin. I can feel them. There's, it's not on the surface. My, the surface of my skin, there's no film on the surface of my skin. It's very soft and very supple, but the ingredients are within my skin. That's amazing. I'm going to go down into the sun. I want you to look at my skin in the sun. All right, now come, come take a close look at me in the sun here. Do you see a difference? Do you see the smoothness? Do you see the tautness? My God, I, I almost feel like I've got the, you know, the tautness of, of the Art Harding lifts. <laughs> I feel like I've actually got, had a facelift here. And so you're seeing this now in up close and personal in the sun. This is, this is all skin care therapy, skin therapy from Tom Kish. Tom Kish, and I believe it's TomKishSkinCare.com. Check it out, I feel so relaxed. I do. I feel really relaxed. It's not, it was not only a treatment for my skin, but it was a it was a soothing session, and I needed that. I needed that after a long, hard day at the studio. You stay tuned for more makeup, hairstyling, and skincare information right here on MUA TV.